After forcing Newton to punt, Parsippi on offense, Mark Jensen of Newton comes charging in to make the sack, forcing Parsippi to punt. After forcing Newton to punt again, Parsippi back on offense, Newton defense closes the gap, and they'll be forced to punt once again, no score after one quarter. Second quarter action, Parsippi faced with a fourth and one, they're going for it, quarterback sneak goes nowhere, Newton takes over on downs. Second and seven for Newton, Adrian Rodriguez busting through for a Braves first down, 14 yards on that play. The Braves are on the move, Newton High School Saturday afternoon. Then it's Ben Kramer with a big run. He rumbles inside the 15 for a 13 yard gain, another Newton first down. Newton caps off a six play, 47 yard drive. Nick Grant play action to Tyler Lombardo, touchdown. 11 yard touchdown pass, PAT good. Seven nothing, Newton over Parsippany. Then Newton kicks off to Parsippany. Tyler Wilhelm makes a nice return here for Parsippany. Look at him go, then he fumbles, and the Braves recover. Robert Coward on the recovery for Newton. Second play, it's Ben Kramer on the run, breaking tackles on his way to a 13-yard gain to the Parsippany 35. And Nick Grant looking for his man, Tyler Lombardo, over the middle. He's got him. That's a 23-yard touchdown pass with a PAT. It'll be 14-0, Newton at the half. Third quarter action, the Newton defense continues to stuff the Parsippany running game. Nowhere to go for Parsippany, and once again they are forced to punt. And fourth quarter, the interception by Josh Sibley's pretty much seals the victory for Newton. They go on to beat Parsippany at Newton. The final score, 14 to nothing. We came out with a lot of like emotion. Last day, last game for the seniors, very emotional, but it was a good win. We had we we came into this year thinking we had a a seasoned senior quarterback uh, in Zach Little, and he got hurt um, in preseason, actually, and he, and he never really recovered from it. Um, our backup sophomore quarterback, Casey Thomas, also got hurt. Uh, so we started looking around, and, and there we are. You know, we have a freshman kid who's a six foot tall, 180 pounds, got a great arm. So we said, we'll bring him up and see what happens. And, uh, you know, it took him a little while to get comfortable. He was nervous, but uh, obviously, you know, he's getting better every week. Um, played a great first half. He's, you know, he's gotten a lot better. He's uh, not as nervous in the pocket now. He's starting to get a little confident. So, uh, yeah, we're just thrilled. You know, I, I get to keep him around for a couple more years too. So, Two touchdown passes to Lombardo today. Describe what you saw in those two. Well, I saw the safety was playing up, and he was running across the middle, and I just hit him. I hit him right in. It was great. Ben Kramer was impressive today. He had 150 yards rushing. Uh, sophomore running back. How big has he been all year? Uh, he's been huge. He's, uh, you know, he's been our go-to guy on offense all year long. And, um yeah, he just runs really hard. Every time he runs, the first guy always misses him, uh, and he's always squirming, turning, and he dives forward, and he's always picking up positive yardage. Uh, so he's he's been you know he's been great for us all year long, um, and you know again thrilled to have him back for a couple more years too. Ben's extraordinary. Ben's really good. Like he's young, his senior year. We're gonna come out on fire. We're gonna go far. You as a freshman, you took over for uh, an injury this year. Uh, how hard was it to learn to wing T after so many years with the run and shoot? Well, I've ran the wing tee all my life because I played at Lenape a couple of years ago, but it's uh, it's hanging in there. Like We're going to get better because it's our first year running it. We're a very young team. We've got two sophomore running backs, a freshman quarterback. We're only going to get better because the wing tee is a hard offense, and if you learn it, it's powerful. It takes a while. you know. It's, they're so used to one way of doing things, and it, it just takes a while. Um, you know, it's not going to happen overnight, so you just got to keep working on it. You keep going through the same things in practice every week, just trying to get better and better and better um, until they buy into what you're doing. You know, and I, and I think we're getting there. You know, we are getting there. Um, this is another big step for us, um, but, yeah, we're getting there. How big has Nick been this year? He's a freshman, still learning, you know, all, all the things he needs to know about a high school quarterback, and he's done a nice job. He has. Uh, we practice hard all day, and he puts it in the spot where he has to be, and Receivers do their jobs and catch it. Uh, future of this team, you guys are very young. Uh, you excited about the future? Very excited. Uh, like Nick said, we're only going to get better. And um, working hard in practice gets results. I'm very excited for the future. We are a young team. And we have a lot of talent with uh, young players, and I'm looking forward to the future. Real excited about the future. You know, we're going to lose a couple of uh, couple of real good seniors. Um, but it's a pretty small senior class. And, and when they leave, I think we have people that are going to be able to step in. And just the amount of experience all these sophomore kids and our freshman quarterback are getting, uh, it, it could only be good for us in the future.